Big late kick with the Catman, and the field is lined up, and they're going for $350,000. It's the Foxwoods Resort and Casino, U.S. Pacing Championship 2000. Here they come for race seven. And they're off, and Western Ideal shows some speed out of the gate there. It, uh, from between horses, Space Shuttle from the inside. That's Red Bowtie. He's out alertly, and Give Me What I Need mixes it up early. Three wide into the first turn, Ron Pierce in Space Shuttle. Here comes Western Ideal, and they're dueling early as they head to the quarter. Red Bowtie is third. Give Me What I Need is parked out in fourth. It's Big Tom in the fifth spot. Royal Flush Hanover is sixth. Bosun's Mate is seventh. Day in the Life is eighth. And it's Noble Ability, followed by Simon of success. And they settle in now down the back stretch and Western Ideal has a 26-2 opening quarter. Western Ideal by two lengths. Space Shuttle in the second spot. Charging up on the outside. Big Tom for Eric Ledford. Looks to get into it now and applies some pressure. Red bow tie back in fourth. Up with the flow is Royal Flush Hanover and Campbell now into fifth. Followed by Bosun's Mate. He's sixth on the outside. Then it's Give Me What I Need. Then there's a gap to a day in the life and sign of success and noble ability. And they're locking up past the half. 53 and 3 and the battle begins here. Western Ideal on the inside. Big Tom on the outside. And they're stride for stride as they race on the turn. Western Ideal lets it out a notch now. Trying to rebuff Big Tom on the outside. Space Shuttle's in the pocket. A perfect trip here for Pierce. As they turn home, off three quarters, Royal Flush Hanover comes three wide for Campbell. Red Bow Tie still in the thick of the action. He's third on the rail. Great trip for him. One, 20, and four for three quarters. They're in the stretch drive. And on the outside here comes Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle going into orbit again. Western Ideal trying to battle back and stay with him. Red Bow Tie a distant third. And then it's Royal Flush Hanover. The others far back. It's Space Shuttle. He takes it in 147 and 4, 147 4, and that is a new world record. Once again, that uh, 147 and 4 mile, a fifth off Jenna's Beach Boys mark of 147 and 3. So he just missed the world record there. Four space shuttle over the uh, five. Western Ideal in a great battle here in the U.S. Pacing Championship with one red bow tie, a gallant third. Four Space Shuttle pays 1240, 420, and 260. Five Western Ideal, 260, 210, and one Red Bow Tie, 210. Four Five Exacta, 2960. And the Four Five One Trifecta, $71.60. The pick three was five, one, and four, three of three, $1,136.60. Third, third Sub 149 victory, a new lifetime mark, no doubt here. Space Shuttle, a four year old bay horse. He's by Goalie Jeff. And he's out of Orchid Blue Chip by On the Road Again, on by Robert Heimstra of Istero, Florida, trained by Ed Hart. Driven to victory by Ron Pierce. Here's the rundown, top down for the seventh race is 349. 85 10 1 2 7 6. Rechecking 349 85. 10-1, 276, 147, and four-fifths, the fastest mile of the season for Space Shuttle. Making our... Well, we're in the winner's circle here, 147 and four, the fastest mile since Jenna... Ron Pierce, tell us about the early part of the race. You had a buzzing up there in 26 and 2. Where were you at the start of the race? I had the three hole. I wasn't going to commit myself one way or the other. I just wanted to see what everybody else was doing. And uh, um, once I seen Mike was leaving, and then uh, I, I decided to get on his back. And uh, wound up, uh, the trip wound up uh, working out real good for us. I just sat in there. He was nice and comfortable. And, uh, at the head of the stretch, I, I felt very confident. Did you think it would take a 47-4 to beat a game, a uh, horse like that, Western Ideal? Oh, on a day like today, there was no question we were going to have to go in 47 okay. in a piece. We are, we are going to go right here. Here we are. You're popping out of the two-hole run. Take us back to the, this part of the race. 
Uh, here was just a question of uh, the, the wire coming up. Uh, you know, the horse was uh, pretty pretty much in hand. I hadn't even taken my hands out of the handholds. I don't think uh, he, he was uh, just awesome. He he really didn't surprise uh, any of the drivers that have been racing against him. That we all knew that uh, that he was a serious animal. He just had to get the right day to prove it. Okay, thanks very much to Ron Pierce. Ed Hart, but you've come a long way from Monticello, 147.4. You don't see those kind of miles up there, do they? No, we don't see them. We, we never have. No. <laughs> uh, you started back a little bit late with him. Tell us about that. Well, he got hurt in Canada last fall, and we turned him out for about four months, I guess, and I just took our time coming back, and uh, he, he came back good, obviously. Did you have any uh, thought that he'd be going 48-2 and two, t twice and then this? No, he's, he's not, not really. <laughs> I, he, I, he's always been a nice horse, but he just, he's, you know, this class this is a different class of horse than what he beat today. And it's just a thrilling day. Mr. Heimster, where do we get that name Shuttle from and all the horses you own with Eddie? I, I watched the Space Shuttle take off one day, parked on Route 995 in Florida, and it was such an awesome sight, and I needed a name for a horse, and I named that horse Pace Shuttle. That's not this one. This is a different one. But I just kept with the shuttles. And how long have you been with Eddie? Oh, five years. Okay, congratulations. 147 and 4, the connections of Space Shuttle lights up the board here in the U.S. Pacing Championship.